Hi there, I'm Alex Cunningham, and I'll walk you through this Notion tutorial step by step. Let's jump right in. Are you looking to seamlessly connect Notion and Discord in 2025? Maybe you want updates from your Notion workspace to automatically post in your Discord channels, or just keep your communities in sync with your knowledge base. Well, by the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to set up an automated workflow between Notion and Discord without any coding required. All right, let's jump straight into the steps together. For this process, we're using Zapier, which is a popular automation tool that connects different web apps together. First things first, head over to zapier.com. If you haven't already created an account, you'll want to sign up. If you have one, just log in. For me, I'm already logged in, so I'll continue from the homepage. Zapier's dashboard might look overwhelming with all the app options, but don't worry, we're going to keep this simple. From your Zapier homepage, find and click the Create button. This is usually prominently displayed. Zapier wants you to start automating as soon as possible. Next, select Zap. A Zap is Zapier's term for an automation. Think of it as a set of instructions that says, when this happens in one app, do that in another. It's a bit like setting up a chain reaction, so your apps talk to each other without you needing to do anything manually. In the Zap setup, you'll see a field called Copilot AI. This is Zapier's new clever assistant that can build automations for you based on natural language prompts. Here, type in something like Notion to Discord. Copilot AI will automatically suggest an automation to connect Notion and Discord based on your prompt, which is pretty handy. It's like asking a friend for help and they get most of the work done for you, but you still have to supervise a bit. Once Copilot AI has generated the workflow, the next step is to set up your Notion account as the trigger. Click on Notion. Zapier will ask you to connect your Notion account if it's not already linked. It's just a matter of authenticating. Granting permission so Zapier can see your workspaces and pull updates. For example, you might choose to trigger an automation every time a new page is added to your Notion database, or when something changes. Now, for the action, the thing that happens in Discord, click on Discord Action. Here, you'll also need to connect your Discord account if it's not already linked up. The process involves authorizing Zapier to post messages or take actions in your server. So make sure you're logged into the correct Discord account. If you administer a server, you'll have more options. If not, you might need to ask your server admin for access. Once both accounts are added, you can customize the automation however you like. For example, whenever you create a specific Notion entry, Zapier will automatically post an update in your Discord channel. This is perfect for project teams, study groups, content creators, really anyone who needs their apps to talk to each other in real time. And that's it, your automation is ready. Zapier will keep things running in the background, so you can focus on your work, knowing that updates will reliably appear in Discord as soon as something happens in Notion. If things don't work perfectly right away, take your time to check your account permissions or try rebuilding the Zap. These setups can be finicky on the first try, but you'll get the hang of it. If you found this tutorial helpful, let me know by hitting the like button and dropping any questions or experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another practical tutorial like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.